Hi everyone, my name is Banda Kass and on this video, I'm going to show you how I take care of my hair. So on this video, I'm going to show you my hair routine and yeah, I'm going to show you all of the products that I use to take care of my natural hair and um, all of the techniques that I use also. So yeah, if you are interested in that, please keep on watching the video. But before starting the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button so that you're going to be notified every time I post a new video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is the shampoo that I use. As you can see, it's an anti-dandruff because I have dandruff and it really helped me with my dry scalp so for especially for those people who have done this is the this is the shampoo for you <laughs> so yeah now i'm going to go wash my hair so i just finished washing my hair with a shampoo but before washing my hair with a conditioner i'm going to do a deep conditioning and for that i'm going to use uh an egg uh, and um black castor oil the Jamaican black castor oil and I'm going to mix it with a tea tree oil an essential oil because it's real good for dandruff because I have dandruff and I'm also going to to add shea butter and this is the organic shea butter so this is really good for your natural hair I'm going to mix that together and then put it in my hair so now I have my egg and I'm going to add black castor oil. So I'm just gonna eyeball it, I'm not gonna measure it. But for the essential oil, I'm not gonna eyeball it. So I'm just gonna put six drops. So now I'm putting the shea butter. After mixing everything together, this is what it's looking like. It still has the liquid form. So I'm gonna put it on my hair. So I just washed it, it's still damp. So I'm not gonna comb it because it's very, it's tangled because I haven't used my conditioner. I'm just putting it. So what I usually do is just I start by putting on on the end of my hair and then I put on my scalp because I think that those are the, the most important parts of your hair. And then when I'm done with both, I put it all over my hair. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. So I start with the tip of my hair. So now I'm putting on my scalp again. So now I'm going to wait 30 minutes before washing my hair with a conditioner. And now I'm going to put this plastic bag on my hair to create heat and add a towel on my hair for extra heat. After 30 minutes, I went to wash my hair. So this is the conditioner that I use for my natural hair. Uh, after deep conditioning, this is the conditioner that I used to wash my hair. So now I'm going to moisturize my hair. As you can see, my hair is already done, but I'm still adding water. And now I'm sectioning my hair off so that I can walk in sections. I'm going to start with shea butter. So this is the organic shea butter and I'm going to put it in my hair and apply it very well on my hair. And now I'm going to put the Jamaican black castor pure butter on my hair just to add more moisture. And now I'm putting black castor oil on my hair. And as you can see, I put 
the oil on that little bottle for a better application. And now I'm going to put the olive oil conditioning spray oil for even more moisture. And I'm gonna put the olive oil pomade to seal the moisture. And now I'm going to detangle this part of my hair and this whole section of my hair. Now I'm gonna do the same on this side. So as you can see, I removed all of the product and I just left this one here. And I'm going to use this later on because I'm going to grease my scalp because for us people who have um, dry scalp or dandruff, you need to uh, grease your scalp or keep it moisturized. So that's what I'm going to do later. But now I'm going to trim my ends because I noticed that my ends were very brutal and very dry. So it was an indicative for me to, to cut it or to trim it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now I'm showing you what I'm going to use. Uh, be careful with the scissors. <laughs> I'm showing you the, the tools that I'm going to use to trim my ends. I'm just sectioning my hair off and grabbing this section, detangle it with the white tooth comb, section it again comb it with a small tooth comb and trim it so an indicative for me to trim my ends is when i can see that my ends are very thin compared to the rest of my hair i don't know if you noticed but my ends are very thin compared to the roots of my hair so when i see that i trim it and also another indicative is that when you comb your hair whether it's moisturized or not moisturized you will notice that your ends tangle easily and that is another indicative that you need to trim your end that's how i know so as you can see there my ends are, are very thin and sparse and now i'm doing the same thing i'm combing my hair with a white tooth comb another comb that is smaller and then a small tooth comb so I'm combing my hair with a small tooth comb to make sure that there isn't any tangles. And now, you know, you see how, how thin it is. That's how I know that I need to cut it. So now I just trim it. And I trim my hair occasionally, only when necessary. Please don't trim your hair every month. It's not necessary. Only when you, you notice that your hair needs it. So I'm done now. I'm just going to use my pomade to grease my scalp because remember I have to grease my scalp because of my dandruff and my dry scalp. Now I'm done greasing my scalp. I'm just going to braid my hair backwards in order to stretch it out. So after doing that, I unravel my hair one or two days later and then I just put it in a full, as you can see now. And I do that to stretch out my hair and so that it's just for, uh, instead of using heat, I, pre I prefer using that method because it's just half here so yeah i hope that you enjoyed the video and i hope that the video was also very helpful to you at the end of the video i hope that you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell button so you're gonna be notified every time i post a new video and i will see you next time bye Mwah.